Okay, so there are some uh, different systems for counting 네. and for numbers in Korean. 네. But right now, we're going to look at the pure Korean numbers. 네. So for counting objects, uh, maybe for ordering in a restaurant, mm -hmm. so one of something, two, two 네. of some dish. 네. Okay, so Robert, why don't you start us off? So from one to ten, how do we say one to ten in pure 네. Korean numbers? 하나, 둘, 셋, 넷, 다섯, 여섯, 일곱, 여덟, 아홉, 열. Okay, so there is one to ten. <laughs> 네. All right. 하나, 둘, 셋. 셋. 네. 그러니까 네. 요거 이거는 다 이렇게. 셋, 셋, 넷, 다섯. Right. 네. Yeah, so the common kind of... 음. D, T ending, right? 네네. So, 셋, 넷, 다섯, 여섯. 여섯, 일곱, 여기는 여덟. Yeah. 네, 여덟. Yeah, we don't really, don't really pronounce 여덟, b, 네. right? So, 여덟. 네. 그 다음에 아홉, 열. Okay. 아홉, 열. 그 다음에 11은 열, 하나. Right. 열, 둘. Yeah, after 10, 음. gets a little easier. 네, 네. 20s... 스물. <laughs> 스물, yeah. <laughs> 네. I mean, I think the most useful uh, pure Korean numbers to learn 네. are one, one to ten. 네. Everything after ten, you can 네. maybe use the other, the Sino-Korean 네, 네. numbers, 네. right? Talking about big numbers, you don't have to use right. pure Korean numbers. But 네. yeah, Sumul is good too. So for number 20. 네. So maybe if you're 25 years old, 음. you are 스물 다섯 살. 음. 스물 다섯 살. 살 mm. means years. Mm. Okay. Counting unit. Right. So, uh, obviously, students need to practice these 네, to, to memorize them. 그래서 제 one of my students mm -hmm. uh, made a story. Oh yeah. To remember the number. Okay. My friend Hannah, mm -hmm. she has a tool to set net, something like that. Okay, <laughs> so my friend Hana <laughs> has a tool <laughs> to set a net. net. Okay, <laughs> good. That gets you through to at least number four, <laughs> and then, <laughs> and the tool doesn't. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it gets a little more complicated after <laughs> that, right? <laughs> but yeah, for me, <laughs> I would get confused between ilgop and ahop. Uh -huh. I don't know why. I think just the op and op sound. Ah, uh, correct. Yeah. So just yeah. a lot of practice, <laughs> right? <laughs> Because we do use these to talk about time. 네. It's very important. 네, 네. So there's a big difference between if you have a meeting at 7시 <laughs> and 9시, <laughs> you know, you better get it right, right? 네. So, okay. So we've got a little conversation here. So in a restaurant, 네. I would use this, these for ordering. 네. So, Robert, what is, what is 음. going on in this dialogue? 네. 종업원. 종업원은 restaurant 에, 이라는 사람이에요. Okay, someone who works in a restaurant, 네. a waiter, a waitress. 네. 또 종업원이 어서 오세요. Okay. 어서 오세요. Yeah. So, or to come, 세요, another fixed sentence ending. Yeah. But general verbs. And uh, 어서, is that like more welcoming? Okay. So, yeah, this is very, mm. very common when you walk into a store, when you 네. walk into a restaurant. Or you'll see it written somewhere. 네. It says, "어서 오세요." 네. Maybe on the mat 네. in front of a restaurant. 네, 네. It means just come on in, come yeah. on in, like enthusiastically. 네. So, 오다, 네. the verb to come, and 오세요, the the honorific 네. uh, sentence ending. 항상 오세요는 이거랑 같이요. Always, eh? Always. So 네. they don't just say 오세요. 오세요. <laughs> <No>. 어서 오세요. <laughs> okay, so always paired 네. together. 네. 어서 오세요. 네. All right, and then. 뭘 드릴까요? Okay. 뭘 드릴까요? 여기 이제 two grammars there, actually three. 근데 뭐 we can do them later. Okay. 근데 여 이거는 뭐, what, 뭐 하고 여기에 이렇게 object marker. Right. 근데 이렇게 해서. Yeah, so it's 뭐, which means what, and 를 as the object marker. Shortened becomes 뭘. 네. Okay. And how about this? 드릴까요? 드릴까요? 드리다 is 주다. 주다. 음. To give. 네. 
the more formal, more polite way to say Juda Dorilkayo or Dorida, right? So uh, someone working in a restaurant, talking to a customer, would want to use more formal speech. So Dorilkayo. So Asal sayo, come on in. What what can I get you? What what should I give you? Right. So Dorilkayo. That's kind of like the question. What shall I give you? 네, 이게 쉘이에요. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but that's, yeah, we'll see that later on. 네, 네, 네. But that, uh, 리얼 가요, 네. 갈 가요. 네. 그리고 요거는 많이 어밋돼요. Yeah, so often you'll just hear 뭐. 뭐 드릴까요? Okay. 뭐 드릴까요? Okay. Right. 네. Yeah, in, in spoken Korean, 음. subject markers, object markers are often 네. just cut out. So it's important to, to recognize if 네. you're listening, right? So. 손님, mm? which would be the Desk. guest or yeah. a customer in a yeah. restaurant. 네, 여기 님 있어요. 님. 아주 polite 단어. Right. 네, 손님. Okay. Title? Like, like 선생님. 네. Right. 네. Okay. 비빔밥 주세요. 주다. Give me 비빔밥. 비빔밥. 선생님, 비빔밥이 뭐예요? 비빔밥 is a very common, 네. popular Korean food. It's 네. a mixture of rice and vegetables. 네. It can have different ingredients, right? 네. 네. So, 비빔밥 basically just means mixed rice with all sorts of things. 네. 네. Okay, so, 밥, 밥, 김밥, 비빔밥. 밥은 cooked rice. Cooked rice, 네. yeah. The raw or 어, uncooked rice. 쌀, yeah. 쌀, okay. 쌀. I don't order sal in a restaurant, right? <laughs> no. Always order bap in yeah. a restaurant. Okay, yeah. so our, in this case, our guest, our customer, yeah. is ordering bibimbap. Now, yeah. I assume if it's one person, they are ordering only yeah. one yeah. bibimbap, right? Yeah. But just as often you will hear someone say, mm. hana juseyo. Yeah. So, this sentence is exactly the same, except yeah. for bibimbap. 하나 주세요. 네. So if we go back to our numbers on the top here, 하나 means one. 네. So if I wanted to order two bibimbaps. 네. 그러면 just 둘. 둘. 네. Okay. okay. All right. 음. Easy enough. Three. 셋. 셋. 네. 셋 주세요. 네, 셋 주세요. Okay. 그래서 여기 이제 비빔밥 먼저 말해요. 영어하고 다르죠. Yeah. 네. So the order is important here. So in English, we would say three bibimbaps, please. 네. In Korean, we'll say bibimbap three, please, right? 네. Bibimbap se, set juseyo, 네. or hana juseyo, or yol juseyo, 네. right? <laughs> if I'm very hungry, I want to eat ten of these. Okay, 네. so again, the order is very important, right? Um, all right, so we've got uh, some different examples at the bottom here. I see something highlighted, hago, 네. hago, hago, hago. So this would mean and, and. 네. okay. So I'm ordering more than just bibimbap in 네. this case. So our sonim, our 음. customer says, bibimbap 하나 하고 냉면 하나 주세요. Okay. So in this case, the customer is ordering bibimbap 네. and naengmyeon. 네. Naengmyeon is kind of a cold noodle soup. 네. 네. Very nice in the summer. 네. Yeah. Um, okay, so again, bibimbap hana, one bibimbap, 네. hago, hago, and. 음. But 여기 attached. Attached. Oh, so they, there's no separation here. There's no spacing here. So hana hago, nengmyeon, hana juseyo. 음. So same thing, right? The word order is very important. 네. So bibimbap, one, and hago, nengmyeon, one, juseyo. 음. Okay. Uh, now we can keep going with this. 네, 네. So in this case, it looks like we're going to have a very big meal. <laughs> so our customer says, 네. 비빔밥 하나 하고 냉면 하나 하고 어뭐 돈가스 하나 하고 and okay. keep adding. Right. So ordering a, maybe for a whole table full 네. of people, I just keep adding 하고 네. 하고 네. Keep going. 네. Okay. Now, I think we can use other words here. 네. So, to say the same thing, 음. and can 음. also be replaced by... 랑. 랑. Yeah. Or, 이랑, if we had the consonant down here. Okay. 
Mm. So maybe if I'm not ordering one, but mm. two. 네. So dul, I have the consonant here, so 네. it would be dulirang. 네. Okay. Bibimbap, dulirang, nengmyeon, hana, okay. juseyo. Okay, 네. so same thing as when I use hago, it's still 네. kind of glued to hana, right? 네. There's no spacing between there. Mm. Um, so bibimbap, hana, rang, mm. nengmyeon, hana, rang, mm. donkase. Hana, juseyo. Okay. 네. 그리고 we did this one. Yeah. 네. So we saw maybe mm. 그리고 in a previous lesson to start a sentence. 네. Just means and. So I could say 비빔밥 하나 그리고. 음. 근데 이건 이제 you are not ready to order yet. You want to have some time. Okay. 그러면 you say first one first. 비빔밥 하나 그리고 냉면 하나 주세요. Ah, to, yeah. to buy yourself a bit of time. 네, 네, 네. Okay, so if you're still working things out in your 네. head, you can say 비빔밥 하나 음. 하고 네. 그리고. 네, 그렇게. So make sure the waitress doesn't run away, <웃음> but you just need a couple of extra seconds. Okay. 네, 네. All right. 그래서 I, um, if you're ready to order items, 그러면 비빔밥 하나 그리고 냉면 하나 그리고 이렇게 하면 좀안 좋아요. 그럼 sounds interest, uh, strange. Sounds strange. 네, 네. Yeah, sounds like stop. Start, stop, start. Um, I've also seen maybe gua and wa 아, 네. to say and. 그것도 이제 이렇게 돼요. Again, 과. just depending on whether it's a final consonant or 네. a final vowel. 음. So, wa 과. and gua. Wa 네. would go with? 하나, 여기 받침 없어요. 그럼 wa. Okay. 이건 받침 있으면 과예요. Okay, so again, strange. final vowel would go with wa. 네. And consonant would go with gua. 네. Yeah, a little. 김밥 gua. Right. 근데 그리고 이거는 그러니까 이거는 이렇게 쓰기에 책을 right. 많이 써요. So 이거는 말하는 거. Yeah, written Korean, 음. wa and gua, 네. but spoken Korean, 랑, 네. 랑, 아, 이랑, 하고, 아, 그리고. 네. Okay. Now, what would I say actually if I need a moment to read the menu in a restaurant? 네. How can I? By myself, just a bit of time. Ah, 아, 잠깐만요. 잠깐만요. 네, 잠깐만요. Yeah, which basically just means, please, just give me a moment. 네, or 잠시만요. Okay. 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 잠깐만요. Okay. Okay. Mm. Man, man means just, 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 just or only. Okay. 자, 잠시는 short time, yeah, like right. a moment. Right. And 잠깐, same, same thing. thing. Right. So, 이거는 잠시만요. 식당에서 쓸수 있어요. In the subways, you want to pass someone in front of you. Mm -hmm. 잠시만요. As well as, okay. 삼, 실례합니다. Right. 네. Right, right. Just to be polite. 네. To say, oh, just a moment. Mm. Like that. Yeah, so, and yo, of course, is the polite ending that we've seen mm. in, different, uh, in different lessons, right? 네. Okay. Um, now, Robert, maybe just one more thing. 네. Now, this is important here. If I say bibimbap hana juseyo, mm. now we don't always say hana juseyo, right? Ah. So if if mm. maybe I know we will look at this a bit later, 네. but maybe just just to say just mm. to show students, if I want to say like hange juseyo, mm. right? So. Uh, 여기는 그러니까 여기는 비빔밥 is in a big bowl. Yeah. 그래서 그 bowl이 그릇이에요. Container. Okay. 그릇. 그래서 you might hear someone saying 비빔밥 한 그릇 주세요. Okay. 음. Yeah, these counters are very important in Korean 네, as well. 네. So we use these pure Korean numbers for counting. 네. And if I'm talking about 비빔밥, the container that something comes in, 음. that gives it a different counter name, right? 네, or 네. so a bowl is 그릇. 네, 네. So I would say 비빔밥 한 그릇. 네. 주세요. 음. Okay? Or 음. 두 그릇. 두 그릇. 네. Or 세 그릇. Okay. 그러면은 이제 조금 change 있어요. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 또 okay. 이거는 이렇게 Right. Yeah, so just for, for numbers for one to four, 네. we kind of knock off the last letter. 네. So it becomes 
한 그릇, or 두 그릇, 그릇. 세 그릇, 네 그릇. 네. Okay. We will see this in, in a later lesson, 네, right? 네, 네. Okay, so we won't spend too much time on that right now. Okay, so um, here, let's just try maybe this conversation one more time. 네. Let's change bibimbap for something else. 네. Let's say I wanted to order, uh, how about bulgogi? A very 네. nice, nice Korean meal. So, kind of a barbecue mm -hmm. or marinated barbecue. 네. So, same, the first part doesn't change. 네. I still have the waiter or waitress saying, Asoseo, moldorit kayo. What can I get you? Bibimbap hana juseo. Okay, in this case? Uh, bulgogi hana juseo. Okay. <laughs> 네. um, I've also seen maybe for 네. meat especially, 네. if I want to say for one person, for two people. Uh -huh. Yeah. What what can we say for that? 그러면 이렇게. Now, these, 이거는, these do not help us for this though. So. 이거는 이제 Zeno Korean numbers. Yeah. All right. So yeah. these come from Chinese more. So I wouldn't say hana ilbun. 아니요. 일 인분. 네. I would say il inbun. 네. Okay. Well, that should confuse everybody out there. <laughs> right? 네. Okay. Well, we'll get to that eventually. 네. 네.